Hello and welcome to One Thing Queer. My name is Jenny Bouton and my pronouns are they, them. And I'm Kelsey Wren and my pronouns are she, her. Hi, friend. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> it's been a weird energy. We already feel the effects of Mercury retrograde. I right? know. And it's the world is burning. So yeah, it's been Ugh. a tough week. Yeah. In the news. In the news. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. I don't even want to. <laughs> yeah. I can't even get into it. Yeah. Y'all know. Y'all know what's happening. But. I want to say, everybody, try to take your mental health breaks from your your uh, phone and news headlines and stuff because it's yeah, it's a little definitely detrimental to your mental health. Yeah, for sure. Make sure you take breaks, go outside, and just breathe. Because mm-hmm. I think it's it's so easy for us to kind of get in a place where you know we're just trapped in this like black hole of you know fear and sadness and not knowing what's going to happen next, and it's just necessary i think for not only your mental health but your energy yeah so feel outside that. yeah feeling that definitely so <clears throat> how was <Yeah>. your week <laughs> my week's been good i went to the butterfly exhibit at the natural history mm-hmm. museum it was so cute mm-hmm. i went to the actual museum and they had this uh crystal exhibition dude there was like crystals the size of my not even just my head but like my <laughs> head and my neck I saw the smoky quartz that was the size of, like, my upper body. Wow. That's was, really cool. It was insane. Do the butterflies, like, land on you, too? Like, Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I have pictures of uh, a couple of butterflies landing on me. And then we saw a spider. And, uh, and I guess they have a spider exhibition, like, mm. towards the fall. Mm. So that's going to be fun. I, <laughs> <clears throat> I think I'm going. So They're all coming down from their web, like... Mm. I guess so. It's very similar, I guess, to the, the butterfly exhibition. That so. doesn't sound as fun as butterflies <laughs> landing on you. And count, <laughs> count me out for the spiders, just saying. <laughs> for Halloween, friend. <laughs> But uh. <laughs> still on the search for a place mm-hmm. uh, that, you know, right now we're entering or right now as we speak, <laughs> we are in mer- Mercury retrograde. Mm-hmm. So we are, <laughs> they say not to sign any contracts mm-hmm. during this time. I'm and, pretty sure that's exactly what yours says, what Aries said. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, fuck, mm-hmm. like I'm trying to move out, y'all. But mm-hmm. the universe is like telling me to wait i guess i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens i'm just going with the flow it'll happen and it'll happen when it's supposed to at the right time and all that agreed it definitely will so yeah i mean maybe if it doesn't i mean if it doesn't it wasn't meant to that's because something better is coming yeah i agree yeah so yeah yeah, that's cool that's been my week friend nice you um uh i've just been busy (laughs) i'm getting um so we're in our new like studio area now I oh guess. yeah yeah how so. did i miss that <laughs> it's okay. oh wait yeah where am i <laughs> <laughs> where am i um so we moved my younger brother is moving in uh to our right our old studio area i guess yeah um because i had that extra room but i also have like a work room where i do like my normal job out of <laughs> um so i kind of just move stuff around move the foamies in here for extra better sound put the pride flag over the closet of course pun <laughs> the pun that I'm, sh- um, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> i still have to label those for you <laughs> all good um so i moved that um so yeah we're in here now it's a little cluttery but it'll work it'll be cool um, i think it's cozy i, I like it it sounds good too so yeah let us know if you sound if you hear the difference in the sound because mm-hmm. i definitely do yeah there's a lot more stuff in this room so it kind of mutes everything better definitely mm-hmm. so um but yeah we're in this uh today we finished cleaning out that room um because he's supposed to move in later this week so that'll be fun i'm already like what games can we play where i play on bernie's computer and he plays on it very nice <laughs> so i'm like can't wait to do that but it'll be fun his him and it, he has a little dog also so they, I mean, our dogs know each other, but they got to, like, play Sunday, and that went well, so that was good. That's but, good. Yeah, so it'll be cool. It's yeah. just <laughs> I'm, like, we were just talking about this, like, it's a change, though, so change is very hard for this, like, cap. very hard cap. Um, even if it's good change, it's really hard. It could be the best thing that happened to me in my life, and I'm still, like, eh, 
Yeah. But it's change. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard for me. Um, but it'll be cool. It'll be um I know that he's he's already like saying that he feels happier knowing that he'll be with us. So Oh friend. Yeah, so yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to meet him. Yeah. He's yeah. <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's Sag oh, he's a Sag um Sun Taurus Moon. Um, what is his rising? I have it somewhere, but it's very like evident. I love it. <laughs> He makes those very spontaneous decisions, but also his Taurus moon slows him down. And he's also um, very like we call him <laughs> we call him a treasure goblin because like anything shiny and like like that's his jam, like shiny, pretty, like so crystal. So, yes, he actually I got him. I got him actually last time we went to Earth Roots. I got him a, a pyrite and a bismuth mm-hmm. um, and like the shiny like. He was like, oh, my God, it's treasure. Like, uh, stoked about it. So I feel like in no time, he's going to be super into astrology. I mean, he, with Bernie. we kind of already got him a little bit into <laughs> it. And he was, we told him about his Zodiac. This is for, you know, whatever, far uh, out of what we were talking about. But um, it fits with today's theme, I think, actually. So we were, we went to sushi with him a while ago when Bernie f- semi first got really excited about it. And we were doing his chart, and I thought he was going to be like, no, nah, like, I don't want to hear about it. But he was like, oh, yeah, what's that mean? What's that mean? Oh, that's good. Yeah, he was, like, excited. He loves, loves, loves space. So, like, I'm like, it has to do with planets. <laughs> like, that's so cool. Trying to get him to be like, yeah, like. We're, we're going to have, like, three astrologers in the house. <laughs> I don't think he'll study it that much, <laughs> but I know he'll be, like, excited to hear because he's very much about, like, that kind of stuff. So it'll be fun um so yeah we did i'm a little bit beat today because we did all that cleaning but it worked out so yeah yeah, i was nervous because i was like we're busy the rest of the week we have to do it today yeah (laughs) but we're doing it yeah and tomorrow tomorrow's the 10th it's our anniversary so congratulations 16 years, y'all. 16 years. That's a lot of years. A lot of years lot of, of years. love. And I will say, if as an outsider... Don't be gross. Well, I am <laughs> going to be gross. <laughs> as an outsider, it's really refreshing to see a relationship be of 16 years and y'all still, like, literally, it feels like you have just started dating. Me. It's so sweet. Thanks. Me. I feel the love. Me. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's tomorrow. That'll be fun. So very nice. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of it. That's all that's I mean, that's it's enough change for me. So yeah. <laughs> that's what's going on. That's great. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of shooting the shot. Oh my god, it was, but I just realized we did talk about Lebec's episode. Oh yeah, let's talk about Lebec's episode. <laughs> oh my gosh, did y'all like Lebec's episode? It was amazing. She's amazing. I could really listen to her talk all, all day, day long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did when yeah. I was in makeup school. And I I will say that it definitely has made me want to like come around a little bit more. Like mm-hmm. I definitely want to go hang out with them more. I actually asked her if there's any way I could like you know come in to see maybe like a class i don't know to just like i don't know be a (laughs) alumni yeah (laughs) if you will actually i will do a little shout out in case you are in the ontario area do it um so there is an art walk and it's the ontario art walk and it's gonna be really fun so if you are in the area and you want to go Check out the studio if you're interested in meeting Lebec or Ladora and want to chat up with them. Um, there is an art walk on May 21st at the Emporia D- Arts District in Ontario. So uh, we will link that in the show notes. I'll link a flyer on there um, in case you are interested in going to check that out. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was really it was really fun to listen to her too to kind of because when you're listening, you're you're listening when they're talking, but there's a lot of times where you're like. You're trying to focus, yeah. but you kind of miss stuff also because it's you're also trying to be attentive and it's some things get lost. But there was a lot of stuff where I was like, oh, like I really like I really like her talking about like when we talked about labels and stuff. It was really nice to hear to like a different perspective on that because mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes, a lot, like I said in the episode, we do get a lot of times we get bogged down with labels. Mm-hmm. But it was nice to hear like she just is like. And it's great to see that from someone um in her generation Mm -hmm. because i feel like in older generations tend to be so stuck in boxes and so stuck in 
everything being mm-hmm. black and white when it's in reality it's not yeah and that's what we're trying to say mm-hmm. <laughs> you know at this point in time so mm-hmm. it's really really refreshing to see that and inspiring and mm-hmm. i mean it just goes to show that you know the way people think mm-hmm. or, or have thought for so many years is starting to kind of go into the trash yeah and i'm hoping that kind of comes to be in other places in the world and also like in other things in the world that are happening right now yeah definitely yeah it's nice so i don't know but yeah thanks again lebec yes thank you lebec it was a great episode if you have not checked it out please go Mm -hmm. and check it out Mm -hmm. um actually leave this episode if you're listening to it (laughs) before and go check that episode out definitely Mm -hmm. all right uh so what are we talking about today So today we are going to talk a little bit about the end of Taurus season and the beginning of Gemini season. We are welcoming welcoming in Gemini season. Definitely. We kind of miss Taurus season. Sorry, Tauruses. (laughs) (laughs) But we want to get that a little bit in there and then also, you know, welcome in Gemini season by the time this comes out it'll be right before gemini season so yeah yeah Uh, we split up (laughs) yes we split up the the zodiac the zodiacs i'm in charge of of taurus taurus season taurus season it's about taurus season well i mean i didn't really get (laughs) (laughs) i'm not like you friend (laughs) i've been i've been i've been been busy totally okay i have the time so i did okay great (laughs) okay so i'm just gonna talk a little bit about like Taurus traits and, yeah. and things like that. Definitely. So, so Tauruses are a earth sign, if you did not know. They are a fixed modality, and the ruling planet is a Venus. Mm. Is Venus. And some of Taurus traits are they just want to cuddle. <laughs> they're <laughs> a very cuddly sign. <laughs> yes, they are. And they're they tend to be homebodies. Mm-hmm. Um they're also the type of sign that are kind of all or nothing. And I feel like that is very Aries two and you know air air season is uh, right before Taurus season so i feel like that's kind of a crossover tauruses tend to be very about like aesthetic they like to have um they like to dress nice Mm -hmm. i feel like the tauruses i've known even if it's like a very simple aesthetic they're very much about just looking put together Mm -hmm. or their space is typically very put together and i feel like that's just an earth sign thing because i've known virgos and and capricorns about like Mm. and i feel like they tend to be a little bit like that would you disagree um i personally for myself just because i don't know (laughs) i there's a lot of times where i'm like eh, that looks like a lot of effort (laughs) i'm like no thanks (laughs) yeah i would love to be that like yeah I guess, yeah, Tauruses do, I think, put the most effort mm-hmm. out of all Earth signs in the way things look, and they tend to be pretty neat. Mm-hmm. I think every Taurus I've ever met is very, like, clean and very, like... Well, it's different, too. I guess for for me, when I'm meeting somebody new or, like, when I'm in a business setting, yeah, I'm very put together. But when I'm at home, I'm here, so I'm, like, comfortable, and I'm like, eh, I don't... I guess it's more of an impressive thing. Like, I don't mm-hmm. feel the need that I have to impress yeah. you, I guess, or anybody that comes in my home. So I'm like, ah, oh, just kind of be comfortable, I guess. Mm-hmm. I think for me, comfort is 100% yeah. <laughs> always what matters. I feel that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they tend to submerge themselves into, like, art. Um, they tend to be pretty creative. And they're also very – most Tauruses I know are very much go-getters. And they're also, like, they they do not stop working. Mm-hmm. They're ten, they tend to be kind of workaholics. Yes, they like to be home and things like that. And I've seen a lot of memes saying that they're, like, lazy. But honestly, every Taurus I know is pretty hardworking and they do not stop. I think the lazy is they have a, sometimes a slower demeanor. They mm-hmm. never – they don't really jump at things. It's They're, like, going to take their time and think about it. Yeah. Um, they're not like they're not the fire sign that like yeah. just spontaneously goes in there. So I think that sometimes gets misconstrued for lazy. Yeah, they mm-hmm. tend to take the time to think about things and mm-hmm. they analyze things before they do an action. And um, they, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The memes say like they love to eat or they love food. Mm-hmm. I guess it depends. It depends. Like yeah. I feel like I'm like that. So. I, f- I feel like they're like aesthetic bougie. Like you mm-hmm. know, like everybody has their own, their different type of bougie. Like yes, like the type of thing that you want to spend money on. That's not the same for everybody. Like some people are car <laughs> car bougie. Some people are food bougie. Mm-hmm. Like like Bernie likes tech, so he's like tech bougie. Everything has to be top of the line. I'm food bougie, so yeah. I'm like I want like 
you know, like specialty things. Like that's that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Very much like that. Mm -hmm. Their most compatible signs are Scorpio, Virgo, and Capricorn. So other earth signs. Mm -hmm. Um, most incompatible signs would be Leos and Aquarians. Um, and Leos crave adventure and spotlight, which can annoy someone that's super grounded like a Taurus. Mm -hmm. And Aquarians tend to be a tad bit too independent and unpredictable for a Taurus. Um, and the reason why they are compatible with other Earth signs is just because there's that sense of like groundedness. Mm hmm that other air signs or i'm sorry other earth signs tend to have mm -hmm. and that seems safe to them and tauruses tend to like safety and and stability mm -hmm. and i feel like a lot of earth signs tend to have that mm -hmm. so. tauruses are kind of needy sometimes too so they, they <laughs> don't want somebody who's gonna be distant. super distant or yeah. independent yeah they want to they're like you said they're homebodies they want you're like not going to be out every night while they're at home like yeah you're going to be home with them yes I exactly <laughs> but the moon sign does come of course play. Mm -hmm. yeah the moon sign tends to be the most important so <laughs> yeah this sounds like nothing like you it's because there's uh, yeah other things in your recipe <laughs> yeah yes exactly mm -hmm. and i feel like with every everything especially with compatibility if you're looking into it you have to t pay attention to like the venus and the moon the mm -hmm. most rather than the sun so yeah yeah definitely yeah <laughs> that's kind of where i have i know you have the forecast <laughs> so i'll yeah. pass it over yeah. to you i have or forecast is more for gemini because by the time this comes out taurus is over yes so i mean i guess i can get into gemini signs so i capped out this but i care <laughs> about it because my mood is in gemini and i feel like sometimes even my own self um Gemini's get a bad rap sometimes because mm -hmm. even growing up or like once I knew about Zodiacs I'm like ugh like Gemini's are two faced like all this stuff like mm -hmm. because I'm not like that my dad is a Gemini and I know how he works when he's at one side of you know when he's one personality we get along great when he's the other we don't yeah you know and I've seen him in the same breath get along with somebody else and turn right back around and not get along with me and mm -hmm. like vice versa so uh, that's why I'm like I get it I don't like it and then I come to find out that my moon is in Gemini I'm like ah this makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but there is a difference between sun signs and moon signs. So, um, so I'll start from the beginning, I guess. Um, so Gemini starts, some some zodiacs say um, May 22nd, but it's, or it's, I have May 21st to June 21st. So that's when this should be a few days after when this comes out. Um, the ruling planet is Mercury. It's a mutable air sign. So uh, it's more, it's, there's, so there's the cardinal fixed and mutable. So it's at the end. So it's very, I mean, it makes sense for an air sign. They're very, that's the wishy-washy is we could go either way into whatever. We're easily swayed sometimes, I think. Um, that's a lot of what it says is like easily swayed by your surroundings. Um, because you want, not that you're a people pleaser, but you want to, uh, you can, you're a chameleon. They're chameleons. They can fit in with anywhere. They can learn the lingo. They can like adapt to how the other people dress. Like, it's that's just what they do yeah. um so they're represented by the twins which is based on the half brothers castor and pollux from greek mythology mm -hmm. i don't know that whole story but i mean that's what it's based off of i, love I guess that. okay so i have some quotes i guess um <laughs> gem those born under this sign will be quick to tell you all about it <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of like um like crossfit or like sometimes vegans like <laughs> they're like they want to tell you all about it um that's but that's because they love to talk um and it's not just like idle chatter either it's no. like like we want to talk about everything like mm -hmm. i want to like personally like let's talk about minds let's talk about like you know like get in depth i can't really stand small talk so i need to hear everything yes um um they're usually pretty intellectual um and they like to ask a lot of questions too because because like the main thing is they they're always inquisitive they want to learn so much about everything they're a super curious side mm -hmm. yeah super curious um <laughs> so i'm, I'm dead of the, about this so i have like my notes so um the more information they collect the more they want to share so like <laughs> bernie always teases me that like my number one phrase is like did you know <laughs> and i'm like that's so rude but i'm like i know this so i want you to know too because yeah. i assume everybody wants to know so he he literally sent me a meme last night because he's like look i'm helping and he sent me memes <laughs> of gemini's <laughs> and he's like look at the highlighted one and it says did you know i'm like Ugh, how dare you <laughs> <laughs> um uh but yeah it's like kind of fun to i guess share with people yes um 
were also, or I guess Geminis are also supremely interested in developing the relationships. Um, <laughs> Very charismatic sign too. Yes. I will say. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're also like, I guess the goods, like the good traits would be like intelligent, keen. Um, they're great communicators. They're shape shifty. Mm-hmm. And that's why like I always talk about like there's 17 personalities in here. And like, I don't know who to show you. Not because it's people pleasy, but it's because I like, we like to fit in and like, you know, blend in. So yeah. it's, I need to know <laughs> what, how I'm supposed to blend, I guess. Yeah. Um, they're quippy, like. And, oh my god! And yeah. quick witted. Yes. <laughs> so like when when Bernie and I are like throwing jokes back and forth, he's like, "It's no fair. There's two on one." Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, and they they'll make a joke like, "Can I just talk to one of you?" And I'm like, oh, "Okay, let me, <laughs> let me just do one." It's so funny. Um, so kind of like the bads, I guess, of the trait of that of the Gemini's. This is all sun too. It applies to my moon because I really I I feel like it's really strong, and that's who I'm comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Like that's. The moon is what you perceive yourself more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, So the bads are we have short attention spans sometimes because we get bored very easily. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Um, They're kind of like a jack of all trades, which is good. But sometimes it would be better if we focus like in depth on one thing. Like I've always said, like I know a lot, a a little about a lot of things, but I like never really dive in deep. Like we bought those um, astrology books and I'm like, I want to read it, but like I just can't get myself to dive mm-hmm. deeper <laughs> i feel that yeah it's a lot of information it is and it just feels overwhelming but i guess because i keep telling myself it's overwhelming then it is overwhelming it doesn't have to be yeah um um they always seem so this is like also where people get the two-faced thing is they're kind of wishy-washy but i think it's because like i think we were just talking about this earlier like we see all sides like i can see every point of view i may not agree with every point of view but i can see how people would think a certain thing and if you're talking with somebody about a scenario and then you're talking about somebody else, they might perceive you as, you know, two-faced because you're like, oh, well, you know, I kind of yeah. get this. Like, yeah, it makes it, you know. It makes it, it hard in the society, too, because it's like it's either or. But then, you know, I think it's I don't know. I think it's a good trait to have mm-hmm. to see all sides of everything. I appreciate it. It's frustrating, but I like I'll get into this too. next thing. Next thing, like the um, I appreciate it, but it's hard. It's hard because it's. If I didn't have it, like, I, I once saw a YouTube video about it, and they were talking about Geminis and, like, Gemini moons, and you need a lot of Earth mm-hmm. in your chart if you're a Gemini because you need something to give you that moral compass mm-hmm. to let you know. Otherwise, you'll pick whatever at whatever time. Yeah. And I have, obviously, a lot of Earth. So that's yeah. why I can pick my, my what I think is right side, I guess. I could still see the other sides, but I still have a compass of where I follow. Yeah. Um. And you have a very strong one, yeah. I think, because <laughs> I think once you set yourself, like once you stamp it, mm-hmm. you're set on mm-hmm. it. Yep, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's why change is hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's another bad, I guess, trait is they're like emotionally, emotionally evasive, and I think that's when we like get mushy because mm-hmm. like caps are mushy. I'm I'm mushy, but like there's sometimes where my Gemini is like no. Nope. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I think Aquariuses are also kind of like that, right? I think so. Maybe it's like an air sign thing, but I don't feel like Libras are that way. Really? Or are they? I would feel. I feel like it's an air thing. Air kind thing? of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of just like oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> or like because it be we want to be light and fun and happy, and it yeah. tends to be more heavy when it, uh, emotion always, for whatever reason, seems it's. Uh, heavier when it's not like happy fun joy yeah you know? i can see that mm-hmm. dang so your cancer like battle- <laughs> battles your gemini <laughs> constantly it's the kids i think more of me the cancer is the crazy like because i don't identify with it at all because yeah. i don't get crazy like that yeah like not that cancers are crazy but like <laughs> <laughs> like they could be they can be I, you know oh i know cancers <laughs> i know some cancers that are crazy <laughs> I've seen their crazy side. <laughs> um, but I don't I I don't really need to feel the need to get crazy like that in my life a yeah. lot. So I don't really I mean your evolved friend. I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like nurturers, so I, mm-hmm. I I nurture in my own way and mm-hmm. when I want to. Mm-hmm. So like that's you know, I don't know. Because like uh, like I like feeding people and stuff, but like when I want to. <laughs> yeah. I'm not like gonna do dinner every night. Like, yeah. I'll do it when I want to do it. Yeah. Um, Gemini's will typically find a, co- a complimentary, complimentary connection with fire signs, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, as they will understand um, each other's active, spontaneous natures. 
Okay, so air feeds fire. So, like, it's funny because, like, I can feel like, like, obviously when you stoke a fire, you, like, give oxygen to it. It's funny because, like, I always, I like fires. Also, my set, my Venus is in Sagittarius, so another reason I like fire signs. <laughs> um, and that's for, like, love and relationships, like, or friendships. Um so it's funny because I know that sometimes when Bernie's in a fiery mood, I know that I can like, like amp him up, like whether it's like in an angry mood, because there's sometimes where like if he's angry, I'm if I go in there, I'm like, yeah, like F them too. Yeah, it's going to, you know, but I have to like, like chill out because like I'm not trying to have you like burn the house. Burn, down. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So or if he's like excited, like or if it's like a new gaming thing, and I'm like, yeah, let's go get it. I like. I know that I can stoke that. <laughs> like, so I'm like, okay, I have to like chill because like then we're like there goes in trouble. There goes all the money. <laughs> so, it's funny, but another reason I guess why I like fire signs, I guess. Okay, the biggest difference between Gemini moons um, is we're more willing to say Gemini moons and suns is we're more willing to say I don't know than Gemini suns. Like mm-hmm. Gemini suns need to know. I'm willing to do that. I wasn't for a long time, but I'm willing to be like you know I really don't know. Like, but I'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> um. You'll circle uh, back to it. Yes. Yeah. We're the one, like Gemini moons are the ones staying up um, and looking, staying up all night and looking up conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we're much more easy and like breezy to talk to, I guess. Um, I and- feel like all Geminis are though. I've, I've met Gemini sons and they're very, like, I don't know. I love talking to them. Mm-hmm. Like in the in the sense that like Gemini suns are very sociable, mm-hmm. like, and they want they want to talk to bit, to everybody. But I guess the moons were we don't seem light and breezy to talk to because we'd rather be at home. Also, uh, we'd rather be like at home doing like the studying, I guess, mm-hmm. and then tell people as we feel comfortable. Uh, but Gemini's like to be social, which is like, and they know freaking everyone. Mm-hmm. Like my dad knows everybody. My dad moved to Wyoming in September and knows everyone already. Not that it's like a lot of people, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but like he knows like every. They have like friends all over the place now. Like they go to like pizza Friday nights and stuff. Like that's cool. Yeah. So like he they he really knows everybody. It's wild so that's cool um yeah um so i guess like the moon too like um we have like a bored demeanor (laughs) (laughs) easily Um, bored easily bored definitely because there's (laughs) bernie actually like tested me the other day it was funny because i um we were doing something and like nothing was playing on the tv so i was like picked up my phone and i was like looking and i was like like nothing interests me there so I was kind of like shaking my leg like and he was like what are you bored I'm like yes and he's like just sit here with no stimulation see if you can do it and I was like shaking my leg leg on the couch and I was like this is so hard <laughs> and he was like oh wow you are really bored I'm like let me do something <laughs> yeah yeah I can see that yeah it was it was a lot even when I watch tv I play games on my phone <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I know a lot of Gemini moons, and a lot of Gemini moons can do a lot of things all at the same time. I need and, a you, lot. and you can focus on all. Those oh yeah, things I heard everything time. you said while I read an article. Like, and yeah. I know both both of them. Like, I just need a lot of stimulation. I guess I don't know. Love that for you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the sons, um, their curiosity leads them to actually leaving the house and getting off the internet. So that's good. Um, also, their energy is a lot more intense. Um, they're constantly telling people other facts that they know <laughs> when they're around other people. Um, and they like to like jump from one person to another when they're in groups. Like they like to like flit around, I guess. I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and they're more like they want to be right in the situation and it's less about asking questions than it about like finding answers, I guess. So that's another. And I feel like Gemini moons tend to be more like okay with not knowing yeah same Mm -hmm. i used to like the cap too because i i i don't know the caps are kind of know-it-all sometimes too and i realize like how annoying that can be (laughs) oh yeah i'm definitely a know-it-all yeah same and i'm like okay like i really there's a lot of times i hold myself back from being like actually Mm -hmm. (laughs) blah 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 whatever the thing is because i'm like no that's really annoying and like eh. unless it's life-threatening like you don't really need to know (laughs) that I find more comfort in other people telling me that I'm wrong. That yeah. I'm like, yeah. What, if someone else tells me I'm wrong, I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> then me admitting that I'm wrong. Oh. Hmm. I guess I'm trying to think of what I, I prefer, I guess. I don't mind saying I am, but like, 
when I'm right, like, because you know that I think I'm right when I'm arguing, because yeah. I'm not going to argue if I don't 100% know I'm right, because I don't want to look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, no, I'll look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with looking stupid. That's my cap, though. Like, if, if I'm arguing, if I'm not arguing, I'm like, oh, I really don't, I might not know. Or I might know, and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should, like, tell this person, because they're, like, dead set on this. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> but if I'm arguing, you know that I think I'm right, because I don't, don't really argue other than that. It's yeah. too much energy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we can get into like the forecast. Go, forecast, I guess. Okay. So we're just for reference, we're recording this on the 9th. Mm-hmm. Um, so Mercury retrograde starts tomorrow on the 10th. Ugh. And I, I wrote in here like what actually Mercury, Mercury retrograde is because a lot of people, we say that, but like a lot of people don't know. No. Um, so it's basically like the Murphy's law of astrology, like everything that can go wrong will go wrong, <laughs> um, during this planetary movement, um. Uh, Mercury is in retrograde when it appears to go backwards in its orbit. Um, This optical illusion occurs multiple times a year because it takes just 88 days for Mercury to circle the sun, um, compared to us, obviously. Um, And astrologers think that the areas of life ruled by this planet can also take a step in the wrong direction during that time. So, because it's an optical illusion of it going backwards, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But that's why it seems to, like, happen so often. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of times I'm like, again? why (laughs) yeah it happens a lot Mm -hmm. and then like i noticed things start falling (laughs) down Mm -hmm. like i noticed it today i opened the freezer and everything came out of it (laughs) like things like that happen our fridge is messing up again yeah i didn't even put that together yeah your fridge is messing up again like things look like they're just going wrong maybe i shouldn't move anytime soon (laughs) yeah maybe i don't know and i hit my lip today too (laughs) my straw we're feeling it already (laughs) it's a day (laughs) um okay so aries so May 10th is majorly important. It's when fortunate Jupiter enters your sign and will bring opportunities until late July. Make the best best of this time window by getting clear on your goals. That's tomorrow. Okay. There you go, Aries. Thank you. (laughs) I forgot who it was that I was telling you earlier that was saying don't sign contracts. I guess we'll get to it. I guess I can sign a contract. (laughs) Yes, you can. (laughs) Okay, Taurus is... um, this month's Mercury retrograde activates your second house of money from May 10th to May 22nd. It's bringing you opportunity to work on a new financial plan. This is not a month to overspend or buy big ticket items. Um, if you need to make a big purchase, try to delay it until May 28th, which is when your ruler Venus enters your sign to bring you more luck and abundance in all areas of your life. So there you go. Good to know. Good to know, Tauruses. Um, Gemini. Um, so it's Mercury is our planetary ruler. Um, it goes retrograde in your sign starting May 10th until June 3rd, which I feel like is a very long time. (laughs) Um, the classic delays and hiccups in communication are bound to happen, but at a deeper level, level, the universe is asking you to slow down so you can notice more of the magic around you. Oh, I know. Which, oh, slow down would be nice, I guess. Yeah. Um, (laughs) okay. Cancer. Um, Uh, may bring major career opportunities your way if you've been working on a project but you haven't announced it to the world yet this is the month to do so as the universe facilitates support from others Um, from may until late july you can make quantum leaps when you showcase your work and focus on networking so there you go cancers yeah yay cancers yeah (laughs) i feel like i have to say it for every (laughs) side yeah it's a lot but i feel like if you want to hear it cool uh, okay, Leo. Relationships are focus for you in May as the cosmos will instigate change in your connections. Mercury begins its retrograde in your sector of community, setting the perfect terrain for you to rethink your involvement with certain groups of people. Then the May 16th full moon lunar eclipse could bring a mini crisis when you might have no better option than to put your needs first. So careful about that time, I guess. Yay, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> I did way too much work on this. Um, Okay, Virgos. Um, May will be an introspective month for you with your planetary ruler, Mercury. So it rules Virgo as well as Gemini. Um, In retrograde for most of the month, delays and revisions uh, to in-progress projects might be frustrating, but trust that these are actually blessings in disguise, which you are most likely to find out in June. Uh, The May 30 noon moon, New moon is your best time of the year to set intentions for your career and public reputation. Yay, Virgo. (laughs) Thank you, friend. (laughs) I got you. (laughs) Okay, Libra. Um, With your ruler Venus in fiery Aries and the sector of your chart that rules partnerships, you're feeling hot and so focused on -on one-on-one connections. Hot and bothered. Hot and bothered. (laughs) 
<laughs> Between May 9th and May 20th, there's also a deep focus on healing. It's uh, If tough conversations come up, face them head on. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yay Libra. <laughs> Bam, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> okay, Scorpios. May could be a month that tests your patience as the planets will bring an unpredictable energy to your sector of relationships. You are in a year-long plot process of shedding your old beliefs, which includes how you approach your connections. This will be deeply felt around May 16th during the full moon lunar eclipse um, when surrendering to, surrendering to the forces at play will be key. But Scorpios are pro at transformation. Mm -hmm. That's your whole thing. So mm -hmm. transform. It's okay. I love it. Yay, Scorpio. <laughs> Uh, Sagittarius. Okay, when Gemini brings, uh, when Gemini season begins on May twentieth, the universe kicks off a month of energetic influence in your sector of relationships, romantic and business. If you have been wanting to deepen a relationship, this is the perfect time to do so. Uh, May thirtieth, new moon in Gemini brings you a new beginning to this part of your life, aligning the stars for signing a contract, working with a coach, or taking a relationship to the next level. So it was Sag, the contract. Oh, uh, maybe. I think so. There was one that was like, wait, maybe I didn't write it down. Uh-oh. Okay. Caps. My cappies. Cappy. Um, Mercury will be retrograde in your sixth house of work and daily routine, slowing down the projects you've been working on. A slower pace of life and work is for sure what the cosmos instig instigates for you this month, which is funny because I've been hella busy. Mm -hmm. I'm like... It's interesting. I'm interested to see how that unfolds. Yeah, but it's necessary. So I, I'm like... I, like I can't slow down, world. <laughs> Gotta keep going. Maybe your energy will slow, will slow down. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Or catch up to the busyness, I guess. Yeah. So, yay, yay Capricorn. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Aquarius. Um, Mars and Neptune will meet in your second house of money from May 11th to May 24th. While this can bring confusion, if you manage to stay realistic, you can truly create a better financial situation. The moment of uh, A moment of crisis or setback could arrive as... Uh, the May 16th full moon lunar eclipse rises in the sky, but find a workaround now. Um, uh, but do not take this sign as a sign to give up. So don't give up. Don't give up. Aquas. Aquas. Um, yay, Aquas. Yay, Aquas. <laughs> Pisces. Okay. Um, on May 10th, Mercury will begin its retrograde in your fourth house of home and family, most likely bringing setbacks or misunderstandings. The good news is that Jupiter will be helping you out in another area of your life. Also, on May 10th, it will enter your second house of money and self-worth. The next few months, and especially days between May 10th and May 28th, are primed for bo boosting your wealth and maybe even getting a raise. So, Ooh, cha -ching. killing it, Pisces. Get that coin. Raise. Yeah, coin. <laughs> it's like that TikTok. <laughs> you haven't seen that one where it's like, my money don't jingle jingle. <laughs> My money don't jiggle jiggle. No, no, it it's a rap. Uh, <laughs> it's like a terrible, like, I don't even oh, know I, who I it know is. I know what you're talking you know about. Is. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It, it folds. Oh, <laughs> show. But he says jingle jingle, not jiggle oh. jiggle. <laughs> don't mean to correct you, but. <laughs> no, I love it. Because it's not coins. It's not coins, yeah. <laughs> I saw one where the girl was like, that's what it means. And she, she was like sad because everybody's been like doing a jiggle dance to it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's Sarah, what the Zodiac forecast is for Gemini season. So thanks, friend. Of course. Thank you so much. So I hope I hope the good ones resonate and I hope yeah. the bad ones don't don't come true. But are they bad? <laughs> Maybe it's just necessary, you know? Yeah. It's a process. Okay. Life life is just a journey. Well, I yeah. hope the the storm passes quickly. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I hope the storm passes quickly. I hope everybody, you know, is, you take it easy on yourself during this Mercury retrograde because yeah. it could be like pretty heavy energy. But you know, I feel like I'm being squished. Why? <laughs> That's the energy. <laughs> the energy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm being like I'm like a you're, foot shorter than normal. <laughs> it's like you're walking forward and it's like mm -hmm. you're walking backwards at the same time yeah yeah it's really weird i don't know maybe it's the changes i don't know maybe i spent too much time on my phone today that too yeah that could work that could be it that's okay friend everything will be fine yeah everything will be fine yeah, you just stop these low vibrational feel, emotions yeah i mean sometimes that happens yeah i mean you saw me you saw me in a dark place and it's just normal mm -hmm. it's normal for for us to go through a journey it's a roller coaster it can be high all the time you mm. know it's just it's all a journey can't be high all the time got it <laughs> i mean you could 
<laughs> 420. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's Taurus season. Gemini. Sorry, Tauruses. You kind of got uh, like, we kind of missed your month, but it's okay. It's it'll, okay. It'll be okay. Yeah. I feel like it's harder to do ones we don't really resonate with or mm-hmm. like have experience with, I guess. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I think we just got busy. Yeah. I think that's what it was. We just got busy with, you know, guests. And we want to have more guests. Yeah. Even recording, we like usually do like Thursdays, but we've been doing it earlier because just getting the days. The schedule. Yeah. Yeah. I I know this is going to come out after the live, but we're going to have the live on Wednesday. So Mm -hmm. that'll be fun. That'll be fun if you joined in. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And look out for a new one, hopefully uh, during May. Yeah. Wait, no, June. (laughs) June, right? Yeah. Yeah, June. Because it's May. (laughs) Yeah. See? <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> it's all mumble jumble. You mumble jumbled, yeah. But but yeah, I don't know. Thank you, friend. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna put you to work again. For what? Uh, for the card. Oh goal. yeah, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I mean my- This is Kelsey's episode. I'm just here for support. <laughs> no <laughs> yes friend no i, I just, appreciate all the work you put into this episode today the gemini just talks a lot i love it don't let me talk oh uh huh. we, lebeck is a gemini moon as well yes <laughs> hence the talking a lot yes so we just like go. to talk man i, don't I love it tell you. i love people that talk I, the- can't, <laughs> I can't stand when people can't talk or won't talk or superficial yeah. conversations I same same there's a lot of times where i'm like saying stuff and bernie's like what i'm like don't don't listen to me i'm just talking <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to myself this is a conversation for me it's it's your two twins yeah they're chatting up a storm they just go back and forth yeah. but all right so we can pull a card and what does the collective need to hear what, does what do we need to hear need to hear too much <laughs> Oh, there Ooh, we go. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, shadow. Oh, Ooh, it's a bat. Okay. Shadow. Wow. Mercury retrograde. Great. So it's a shadow card. A little batty bat. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty. I love these cards. Oh, pretty, pretty. Okay. Um, oh, it's also... Okay, so it's shadow. It's part of the air section of this book, which is... Interesting. I mean, okay, I hear you. Um, okay. Um, this card indicates the divide. Div- oh, sorry. Okay, this card indicates that diving deeper into your shadow at this time will be beneficial. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right in the heart. <laughs> um, it is through knowing our unconscious self that we find the root of our blocks, perceived limitations, and wounds. It is also how we come to know ourselves in our totality. We cannot reach our true p- potential without meeting our shadow and working with the parts of ourselves that we have been told to lock away or be ashamed of. This includes brilliant aspects of ourselves too, not just perceived flaws. The truth is your shadow is your greatest gift. Me. So the animal for this one is the bat, and bats are experts at moving through the dark using echolocation. They're unable to see what their surroundings are, but by producing high-frequency sounds and listening for the echo of the objects close by, they are able to get an incredibly accurate idea of their environment. Um, this is much like doing shadow work. We often do not understand the logic of our subconscious, subconsciouses, um, but we can feel it. It can be uncomfortable, like we do not have our senses, but if we trust the process the way the bat trusts, it's echolocation, our shadow work comes alive in unexpected and magical ways. Mm. If you're struggling with things you cannot see in their entirety, call upon the bat as an ally. Wow. So it's basically saying if you're in the midst of shadow work or a, a darker, if you will, mm-hmm. point in time, you just have to, you know, let the universe run its course and trust that it has your best interest in mind. I caught dive deeper. And dive deeper, yeah. Yeah, I'm like... Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, oh, you're down? Okay, go deeper. Yeah. Go deeper. Like, Why are you down? Yeah. Yeah. Go deeper. What's going on? What's going on? I also feel there's a lot of times I was saying, like, the days like this, it was like, because I was busy doing other stuff. And then when I wasn't busy, I was too tired to do anything. So I was mm-hmm. too tired to, like, um, like work out my brain, I guess. Because, like I said, I like to do puzzles when I watch TV. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I wasn't doing that. I was just kind of, like, laying there. And I find the days when I'm at my lowest are days that I didn't, like, exercise my brain. Mm -hmm. I didn't, like, bring any stimulation. And I sometimes, like, if there's, like, three days where I've been really low, I'll look back at those days of what I did. I'm like, oh, you didn't learn anything. Like, maybe that's why I'm in, like, a funk, I guess, Mm -hmm. today, too. I was like, oh, I didn't learn anything. And, like, anything I'm interested in learning about, I guess, like, laws and stuff are, like, super depressing. Yeah. So, yeah. I feel that, friend. Yeah. Yeah. Dive deeper out there. Dive deeper, y'all. 
and we're gonna get through this. Yeah. Stay strong. Yeah. And if not, well, I'm not I'm gonna say it on a podcast. <laughs> no face, no case. <laughs> no face, no case. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And yeah. on that note, <laughs> yeah. Let so let me. Just... <laughs> we gotta get. Yeah. Okay. Please follow us on Instagram. It's one thing queer. And my personal Instagram is specsraytx. And my personal Instagram is at Jenny Lynn Bouton. And if you would like to come on the podcast, be a guest, or if you would like us to answer any questions or need advice, email us at onethingqueer at gmail.com. Yeah. Um, we also have a TikTok. I know it's nothing's been up there in a while, but we um, it's been busy. We're trying. We're trying. <laughs> We're going. Um, but there's still a lot of stuff on there anyways. But yeah. if you want to follow us on TikTok, it's One Thing Queer Podcast. We'd love to see you there. Yeah. And once we get a thousand... I say it every time, but once we get a thousand, we could do uh, lives on there as well. Mm -hmm. So that would be fun. Um, shout out to all our listeners out of the country. If you're listening in from Japan, I know we have a listener in Japan mm -hmm. um, and in Canada, Alberta, I believe. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. Thank you so much for your support and for listening in. Mm -hmm. We are getting close to 3,000 downloads, which may not seem a lot to some people, but mm -hmm. it's a lot. It's a us. lot. <laughs> Um, and we're not even a year in. You we're, know. we're getting close. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're getting close, friend. Very okay. proud of us. I know. Me too. Um, so thank you and shout out to all of you who have supported and have left reviews. If you haven't left a review and you want to leave five stars. <laughs> <laughs> Please go, do. Um, Don't go, be shy. <laughs> go rate us and tell us what you think about the show. Mm -hmm. And if you have any feedback, just let us know. And yeah. we'd love to hear from you. Or topics you want us to talk about. Like there's, mm -hmm. you know, there's sometimes where we're like. We don't even know. We're not sure. Yeah. <laughs> but we're like, oh, what do you want to hear about? What are, Or what's something interesting that you would, you know. Want to chat about. Want to chat about or would like our perspective on or yeah. anything. Or want to be a guest to talk about or call in or anything like that. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you know someone that you think would be a great guest for us to have and share their story, um, please hit them up and tell them to hit them up <laughs> tell them to hit us up <laughs> definitely all right so i guess we will see y'all next week all right all right bye bye graphics by bexuniverse.co music by jacody